And hello everyone, TJ Alls, I-45 now. We're on the famous Kima Boardwalk, getting ready for the 57th annual Boat Lane Parade. It's a, a Christmas tradition like none other. It's where the boats in the Clear Lake area get all decorated for the holidays, and then they go down this ship channel right here and uh, with all their wares. It is a packed night here, even though it is chilly. It's finally starting to feel like Christmas around here. Cool weather out here. We're in the lower 40s here tonight with a good north wind as well after those severe rains that came in overnight Friday and into Saturday. It's going to be a fun night for us here to be covering this parade for you here in the Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. We're looking forward to it. Stay with us. We're going to have some fun here tonight. Obviously, I love the event. It's just, to me, one of the most spectacular events. Um, not only in the Clear Lake Bay area, but I think in Houston also. So, and that's one of the reasons I think it's been going on for 50, this is the 57th annual Christmas Boat Lane Parade. It's, it, to me, it's a community event where you get power boaters and sailboaters to actually uh, do a parade and kind of get along, because in the summertime they don't always want to get along when they're out in the bay in the channel. But, uh, you know, one of the other things I like about it is, is that a number of years ago, um, the fi five major uh, the cities around the lake have been major sponsors of the event, which shows how important this is to the bay, you know, Clear Lake Bay area. This year uh, is the 50th anniversary of the Apollo program at NASA. And so NASA came to um, us as being one of our neighbors in the community to see if we would uh, be nice enough to uh, help commemorate the Apollo 50th anniversary, which we did this year. And if uh, we have it both on our t-shirt design and we're actually giving out a special um, uh, uh, commemorative award for um, you know this thing and the award is fantastic um, it's uh, basically I, I themed it off that specifically off of Apollo 8 because for for people that are, are NASA buffs or historians Apollo 8 was the first time that uh, man had gone around the moon uh, and they did 20 uh, uh, circumnavigational things but um, at the very end when they were jettisoning to get back to earth they were on the back side of the moon and astronaut Jim Lovell um, after they were successfully did the boosters and they came around the back side of the moon they saw uh, the earth and there's a famous picture called Earthrise and um, what um, astronaut Jim Lovell said back to Mission Control was uh, Houston I can tell you that there really is a Santa Claus And so I, that's what we use, and so we're going to pick a, a, a boat that uh, most uh, exemplifies that, the, the meaning they think of that as, as there is a Santa Claus. So it's really exciting, and it's a beautiful award this year for that. It's a one-time thing, but um, we were really glad to be able to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo program. So, 57 years ago, five men, I think, were having some beverages down in Kima decided they were going to decorate their boats and uh, just troll around the lake. So they did, and we're talking Red Adair, who you all know, and some other very famous gentlemen. And so they started the parade. They wanted to continue it, so we've done it every year since. The chamber took over producing it in the 80s, and so we've had it for quite some time. Um, I've not been to all 57, but I know they've been great. And the fun part is the history of it, it's all about Clear Lake. It's all about our traditions. Even after Hurricane Ike, when we thought we weren't going to have it, everybody in the community just got together and said, we have got to do this. We can't stop. It's such a great deal. But I just say every year, if we have at least five boats, we've got a parade. And we are underway. The 57th annual boat lane parade here on Clear Lake. We're at the Kima Boardwalk and getting ready. Our first boat, pass it on by now are coming its way is coming underneath that big old bridge and coming this way our broadcast streamcast i should say brought to you in part by the chemo boardwalk check out jingle on the boardwalk all month long 
here and don't forget to spend New Year's Eve. Jingle on the boardwalk, the Kima boardwalk. Our host for tonight's event. So what we were told at the skippers meeting earlier today was we will have 70, at least 70 vessels in this parade tonight. Now, that's 70 official. Usually, there'll be several folks that just decorate their boats and join in the fun as we go throughout the night. And what they do here is they go through Clear Creek Channel here. This is the channel that attaches Clear Lake to Galveston Bay. And they're coming out of the Clear Lake and heading from our left to our right. And we'll be heading out to Galveston Bay and they'll turn around and come on back this way. And a representative from the Lakewood Yacht Club, their big boat leading the way for the parade this year. Lakewood Yacht Club, obviously, the premier yacht club in the Clear Lake area. Big crowd on board there tonight as well. A lot of effort goes into this every single year for sure. That's a lot of lights you got to put on a boat. You got to get them all hooked up, make sure they're working right. And tonight, too, as we said, temperatures are in the lower 40s with a good north wind here tonight. TJ Alds with you on I-45 now as we're coming to you from the Kima Boardwalk for the 57th annual Christmas Boat Lane Parade. A tradition like none other in the state of Texas. There are other boat parades they have at Christmas, but this is the one that everyone pays attention to. And you'll see a, a mix. You'll see motorboats. You'll see sailboats that will go through here uh, as well throughout the evening. As I said, officially about 70 entries or so. But sometimes that will drop off a little bit depending on weather, but it actually increases because folks who are not official entries will pop into the parade as well. And people go way out of their way to get their boats decorated up. A lot of it happens, they actually do the decorating the day of the parade before they come out here. Our coverage brought to you in part by Space, Remax Space Center. The Bly team, Deborah Bly and her company, can help and her team can help you sell, buy your home, and also give you the advice you need to make sure you increase that value. Check it out. Remax Space Center, the Bly team, in League City on Main Street. Sailboat going through now under motor power with the green lights and the on the front and the going up the mast and some nice colorful lights going off the back end there the aft side of the boat as well and someone has their puppy we have a Mr. and Mrs. Claus there as well and they're slowing down to make sure we get a good view of them right here on camera and one of the cool things at this point you'll see it right there in your shot now is that as one boat goes by one of the boats that came by earlier is now turned and is coming back through the channel so now you get this great view now here's an interesting and none of the small entries here but really lit up well take a look at this entry number 147 hearts on it and the rings this is something you would see in someone's yard for their Christmas decorations and lit up it's like the it's like a little mini north pole i hope their battery will make it for them through the whole through the whole turn they got to get out of the bay and head on back in a little while tj alls i-45 now here at the Kima boardwalk our coverage brought to you in part by amico federal credit union looking to up your gift game this year get a christmas loan at amico federal credit union branches all throughout galveston county Amico, Federal Credit Union, proud supporters of the community. All right, our next entry up has a large star up on the mast as well. Spelling out Merry Christmas on their entry as well. Directional signs to tell you which way to the North Pole. Really nice job here. Now that's really well done, lit up. Entry number 175. 
We'll we'll be designating the winners a little bit later to let you know. There's different prizes. And if I'm not mistaken, that's the Girl Scout logo on the back of that boat. Maybe they're doing Girl Scout cookies. Entry 174 now. Now that's a giraffe in the middle coming up the mast there. A Christmas giraffe. <laughs> and a hippopotamus there. Some flamingos, so a little wildlife theme going for them. And this is one of those, as I said, you see entries that don't have a number on them. Those the folks just do that. They just they want to be a part of it. They don't care if they win a prize or not. They just decorate their boat and come on out. That's cool. And we have judges from all over. The city of Kima has Doug Messinger here tonight. Judge and forum. Greg Rippon from the city of League City here. Chamber representatives as well making their making their judging no and joining us right now speaking of league city by the way should point out is uh andy mann back on city council after a little hiatus and uh council good to good thank you and merry christmas to you buddy it's a it's a chilly night for tonight it's a good thing you have your nasa coat on here tonight right that you know it it's the only jacket i own actually so <laughs> you know what's the light being back on city Bond issue. I'll let you go enjoy the great food we've been having. Councilman Andy Mann from the city of League City joining us here uh, tonight. And now making their way here. Now, we told you we're here at the Kima Boardwalk. Here is the flagship yacht of the Kima Boardwalk, the Fantasy. Available for parties. They rent it out here from that. That's what they're doing here tonight. And feeling that chill tonight, Megan Johnston from the Kima Boardwalk. In May hey, it's Christmas time. It's got to be cold, right? <laughs> I know it does, <laughs> and especially in Texas. You get the, you get the wet cold, too, yeah. so that's worse. <laughs> yeah, it's coming off the bay here a little bit for us right now, too. Uh, you know, obviously, Christmas time is fun for everyone, but particularly here at the Kima Boardwalk, you guys have a lot of things going on out here, right? We do. Uh, we have something every weekend in December. We have our jingle in the boardwalk activities. So we have a snow patch. We have pictures with Santa, cookie decorating, a stilt walker, a juggler, a balloon artist. So it's a lot of fun out here. And you can also watch some of the movies that are out here and as well. We've got uh, the Muppets Christmas Carol coming up as well. You can see Grinch, the Grinch stole Christmas, all of that. Just really to bring in the flavor of the season, right? Absolutely. We're trying to do all we can. And I tried to get in a snow fight when I was downstairs that little snow patch right here those kids outdid me all the way over through so all oh, yeah. right well and then obviously and then also too new year's eve coming around we're gonna have some fun out here for new year's as well right yes we do have a fireworks show on new year's eve uh 10 p.m and we'll have a live band in the main plaza from 5 to 10 and then going back to jingle in the boardwalk all of our activities are free so you don't have to pay anything for it you can just come out and enjoy them that's great. Free to come on out and enjoy the fun. And then again, the New Year's Eve. And the restaurants here will stay open extended hours for that night as yes. well for New Year's Eve. All right, Megan, go to, I know. Let's go bundle up. We've, <laughs> well, there's like two heaters here. We're all stealing them right here, right? <laughs> yes. so, so. Megan Josser from the Kima Boardwalk here. It's Jingle on the Boardwalk, one of the great traditions of the Clear Lake area happening here in Kima all throughout December. All right, some more entries. Now we'll start seeing the clump up of the... Uh, the entries, another sailboat entry coming our way now with an inflatable Santa on board. Now imagine on a cold night like this of having to haul up to the top of that mast to install those lights. Oh, right in the middle, there's Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, we now yeah, the light's not on, but see, there's a Buzz Lightyear, an inflatable Buzz Lightyear right behind Santa. We had we had a Buzz Lightyear as part of the polar bear plunge Saturday morning. This is pretty cold, and 17 people dove into the pool at South Shore Harbor. Speaking of South Shore, one of our sponsors of tonight's coverage. Spend New Year's Eve at South Shore Harbor. Make a South Shore Harbor New Year's Eve blast with a Mambo Jazz King. 
Make your reservations now. It includes dinner, an open bar, plus great room rates as well. The Mambo Jatching in for New Year's Eve at South Shore Harbor. And in our first catamaran of the night, entry 155. There's usually a few of these in the parade. So I was telling you, the parade starts off actually over by Nassau Bay. They, they have a big holiday in the park festival at Nassau Bay. And they have fireworks to go off. That officially starts off the parade. And then the boats make their way down the way. And now a uh, the Sea Scouts coming by. Sea Scouts with the Sea Scout base down in Galveston, in fact. They're on the General Sam. That's a actually that's a floating classroom that they have. And it's a great program that the Sea Scouts have out of Galveston, part of the Boy Scouts. Entry number five come by. There's Rudolph leading the way on the on the boat there. And appropriate, the boat's uh, deck is in red. Number 18, 118, I should say. The next entry up, a sailboat entry again. Done up like a Christmas tree with the rope lights going up it. Now, this is a challenge, by the way, because you're at night, obviously, and you got a lot more boats on the water you normally would have. But, yeah, the lights coming up, you have the crowds, and the, and the north wind tonight, they were predicted to be at 15 knots. So, a bit of a challenge for everybody tonight. Oh, here's a great entry here. And there's some elves at the front on the bow of this entry coming by us now. And bagpipes, take a listen. Bagpipes. Entry number eight with some bagpipes. So those weren't elves, those are just guys in skirts. You should officially say. Paul will be yeah. the catamaran coming the first sailboat entry. Now how it works is there, there's lots of awards to give away. There's city awards, there's overall awards, all boats. Uh, sailboat entry uh, that all have that they've been doing these awards for 57 And a nice entry, reindeer up front, Santa has slayed up top, and <laughs> everyone tucked down on the deck, blankets and everything keeping cold, keeping warm there, I tell you what. So I gotta ask Paul real fast, Paul Tater Deaton, shooting the what do you think of this break? Now you've seen plenty of these when you're in, in, in the in St. Thomas, what do you think of this? Well, the, the tourism authority is going to be mad at me for saying this. But on St. Thomas, they'd be lucky to get like seven to maybe 12 on a good year boats. And it's gorgeous weather in the Virgin Islands at Christmas time. It's what, 40 something now? And we got dozens and dozens of boats. So, sorry, VI. <laughs> <laughs> About 70 entries uh, in, the, in the parade this year. Another one of our small entries just passed by, number 160. And they're still coming here tonight. This is one of those nights you have a little extra to keep you warm. It's usually in a Yeti cup or something else <laughs> that's on board. Plus with the clothing you're wearing. Santa at the helm of the boat here coming by. Oh, 
Oh, this is just one of my favorite events. I, and I, I have to tell you, folks, as everyone knows who watches I-45 now, I grew up here. This has been one of the, uh, long before the Kima Boardwalk even existed, this parade would, would take place. And folks may remember Red Adair and his buddies would get together and just throw some lights on their boats and head on out. And that's what kind of uh, all the boaters from back of the day would go on out. And that was always kind of the fun start of this tradition. Hearing a lot of music. I have not heard Baby It's Cold Outside just yet. <laughs> but it is cold out here tonight. That, as I said, the north wind, and it is chilly out here tonight. Now, that's a real elaborate Santa sitting atop of entry number 110 coming by us now. With the elves hanging out out back on the app. Oh, and they have snagged themselves a tuna. You can see it there as that boat goes on by. A lit up tuna. And again, one of our smaller entries, number 61, coming by right behind that one. So if you do want to attend this one time, come on, we tell you, get out here early. Get out about four or so. Make your reservations to come out here, too, to get dinner early uh, because it is packed out here, here at the Kima Boardwalk. One of our sponsors, don't forget Jingle on the Boardwalk, continuing through the month of December as entry number 119 goes by now. Jingle on the Boardwalk with free activities all through December, including... You know, you got the snow patch that's out there and some cookie making contests going on, visits with Santa, and then free movies in the in the central area. And then don't forget New Year's Eve out here uh, as well. Entry 161 going by with a inflatable on top and some lit up candy canes everywhere. It's the 57th Clear Lake Christmas Boat Lane Parade. Brought to you by the Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce. Of the parade. And now we have to ask these... Uh, since these folks stood by me, they're going to have to get interviewed here. We'll keep the camera on the boat parade here. First, ladies, ladies are all bundled up. Give me your names here, ladies. Sandra Harper. Melissa Wilson. All right, Sandra and Melissa, have y'all been to this parade before? Yes. Yes. What, what keeps bringing y'all back here? The cold weather. The cold weather brings you back, huh? <laughs> Christmas. Look, yeah. It, it starts off the Christmas season. You really don't think it's Christmas until you get out here on the boat parade, right? That's right. It's Christmas out here tonight. It is. It's it's oh, yeah. it's very chilly. They, they're sharing. You can't. I don't know. Maybe we can pan over. You can share. They're scared. They're sharing a scarf, right there. The two, the two of them are sharing their scarf here tonight to keep warm. That's they're good friends that would do that. So thank you. Thank you. Hey, we should. The great anniversary. Missions. That's the theme of this year. That's the theme of that boat that just went by there today. There is a Santa Claus recognizing the Apollo 50th anniversary. That's the big part of the theme this year. In fact, I'll show you the back of my shirt. Here. In fact, as well. So that that entry there has a chance to win. By the way, you see a shot every once in a while. The famous Eddie Harper shooting the still photos, the official photographer for the Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce's Boat Lane Parade. Hey y'all. He's uh this man's one of the hardest working men on this deck tonight. Only second to Paul. He does, we always get great photos out of that. And Eddie does a great job with that. And this is a next entry up an inflatable pup up front, a little patriotic pup. You'll see this parade also in at the July 4th. 
separate that here. 135, the American flag on board as well. To that intro. Of that boat going by us. And we are at the 57th Christmas Boat Lane Parade on Clear Lake. And we're here at the Clear Creek Channel. Wow, get a load of this entry here, folks. Motorized activity. A shark up front with a surfboard, a gator up top. There's where rotating around. The gator, the gator is rotating on the radar. And if you see on the sides of the boat, too, gators that light up wow. as well. Great entry. You see folks, I was telling you earlier, that go all out for this entry every year. Uh, for their entries every year. Here for the Boat Lane Parade. And yes, Santa is on board. The pontoon number 97 going by. And then there's a dancing Christmas tree up on the bow as well. A couple of, three or four dancing Christmas trees up on the bow as well. <laughs> and the water's edge. The venue going by. Got some folks that got some sparklers on board. And as I said, one of the things is, as long as you have a boat, you can enter this parade. It is always a fun activity. We'll be giving out the awards. Uh, obviously, by the time you see this, we've given out the awards. The parade happens on Saturday night. The awards are done Sunday morning at a special brunch. Another catamaran pontoon type setup. Now, a lot of lights on this boat. With the palm trees and stream lights all around. Entry number 42. Our coverage of the 57th Clear Lake Christmas Boat Lane Parade. Brought to you in part by South Shore Harbor. Make your New Year's Eve celebration extra special at South Shore Harbor with the Mambo Jazz Kings. Tickets include dinner and an open bar new year's eve at south shore harbor and special room rates to be had give south shore harbor a call or just click on to their link here on our site and you can make your reservation And you see right behind that entry number 63 there, uh, behind him, that is our uh, Coast Guard Patrol working uh, safety force out here. The Coast Guard really helps out a lot uh, with making sure all the boats stay out of trouble and harm's way. Thanks to the U.S. Coast Guard and the Coasties out. And they were just testing out. By the way, we saw these guys, uh, the Coast Guard base in Galveston, testing out the new cold water suits. I wonder if that's them. And reminding us that Christmas doesn't come from a store. This next entry up. It, this is one of the cool shots there. You can see with the lights going in and out of the channel. A lot of fun to see that. 
This next entry, they're trying to throw beads. You really have got to have a good arm in this parade to get the beads to make it to the boardwalk. As the uh, and uh, following up our next entry here will be the party barge that we see out on Clear Lake all the time. That's where you do the sip and uh, sails with uh, South Shore Harbor as well. The Houston party boats, the party barge going by, and our new friends there, Megan, they're all dancing away over here with us as well tonight. We have a suggestion for an ugly Christmas sweater contest. Yeah, they And if you look closely at that entry, we think that's what they're doing on board. <laughs> I think so. I don't want to insult anybody on that boat. If you were on that boat and you didn't mean to wear an ugly Christmas sweater, we're sorry for we you. We apologize. But it looked like you were winning. Yeah. Yeah. Another well lit up entry here. Some elves on board with some reindeers pulling Santa's sleigh. Entry 179. The boat's name is License to Chill. With a little Van Halen, Eddie Van Halen jamming on guitar. Did they go by? It's the 57th Clear Lake Area Chamber of Commerce's Boat Lane Parade, Christmas Boat Lane Parade here on Clear Lake. Hi everyone, TJ Alls along with Paul Deaton. I said more than uh, 70 entries in this year's parade. Those are the official entries. <laughs> There's always extras that just join in the fun that didn't sign up. They just join in. They, the only thing for them is they just don't get judged. That's all. They have. They want to get in on the fun as well. <laughs> Taking a look now of entry number 150 coming our way. And that is really well lit up. God bless the USA playing on board, plus in the sign. Too bad we don't get you on camera, Paul. Paul, do a little dance to the, the samba going on here. Anything to keep myself warm. <laughs> it is a little chilly out here tonight. Gusty winds. Little Mariah Carey play. Oh, we got some gingerbread men on the bow. Coverage again brought to you by Remax Space Center, the Bly team, for all your home selling or purchasing needs. Call the Bly team, Deborah Bly and her team. More glad to help you out. Remax Space Center, the Bly team in League City. A little bit of smoke coming off one of the smaller boats. We're trying, well, first we thought maybe the boat had caught fire, but it didn't. Putting some, uh, putting some oil across the manifold there to get a little extra. Another patriotic theme here. You'll see that a lot in these entries. Rocket up front. I think they're done. 
And again, thank you all for joining us tonight for the uh, 57th Clear Lake Christmas Boat Parade. Uh, it's been a lot of fun for us to be presenting this streamcast to you. Uh, have him wave in front of the lens, Paul Cater Deaton. I know he's been he's got frozen hands with it. Come on over here, buddy. Come on over here. Uh, so you you were, you really like this show here tonight. This is an awesome show. I'm loving every bit of it, even my chilly nose. <laughs> so we're gonna get in to get a hot toddy here in just a little bit, and uh, and thanks for joining us on the streamcast, folks. Have yourself a good holiday season. Well, next thing up for you, we'll be uh, showing you. Uh, the parade festivities happening all across uh, Galveston County. Some more parades coming up as well. I'm TJ Alts, I-45 now.